The unveiling of this commemorative monument comes 52 years after a tragedy. The names of eight students and a pilot are engraved in stone to be forever remembered. They were on their way to Bun Bonaby Cree Nation on June 24, 1972, when their plane crashed shortly after takeoff in Winnipeg, leaving no survivors. Everyone in our community remembers this as the darkest day in our community's history, and we need to ensure that it's never forgotten. And we owe it to the eight students who made the ultimate sacrifice while trying to pursue their dreams and we owe it to their parents, siblings, and friends to celebrate the lives of their loved ones for the short time they were with us here on Earth. The students, aged 14 to 21, were returning home from residential schools near Manitoba's capital, roughly 600 kilometers south of Bunbonaby. What would have been a joyous reunion for the families who couldn't see their loved ones for months at a time while they were away turned to devastation as they learned their fate. Ben Bonaby Chief Richard Hart says if residential schools didn't exist, perhaps the students would still be alive today. Many First Nations students across Canada returned to their communities with a broken spirit that could not be healed, and that affected their families from generation to generation. Many students never returned. Many died alone while at these schools and were buried in unmarked graves. Others, like our students, uh, died just trying to get home, home to where the familiar and where the family and where the feeling of safety lied. The monument stands only a few hundred meters away from where the plane crashed in a Winnipeg suburb. It's still not clear what caused the accident. The Royal Aviation Museum of Western Canada requested the monument's creation and it was unanimously approved by City Council. Stacy Robinson is the niece of Iona Wienusk, one of the students who died. To think of how the excitement these eight students were feeling, taking off, coming home. She says the monument may bring closure for some, but not all. There's still that heartache that they're missing their, their sisters and their brothers, right? It's kind of hard to say there's a closure, but having the stone here means a lot to the families. Surrounding the monument are Thank nine so saplings, much, one for each person, to, to symbolize growth and the future. Sav Jones, APTN National News, Winnipeg.